Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon X catching them all. Me the trunk will turn. So we need to go see Professor Elm. I think we need to put Togepi in the beginning of our slot. So let's go do this. Let's get this over and done with before we carry on our adventure. So let me talk to him. Professor Elm, what? That Pokemon. Hmm. As far as I know, there's not a Pokemon like that in J Johto. Just like Mr. Pokemon was saying over the phone, the legendary Pokemon could be. Oh, never mind. Anyway, I'm sure things will be happening around you, Trunks. You're making me all excited. I'll give a present for that. Please take it. Everstone. Hmm. It's not so awesome. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a, a stone I never use, so it's okay. Better than nothing, I guess. A Pokemon changes its shape as it evolves, but if it's holding an Everstone, it can prevent it from evolving. If you like the way a Pokemon is now, have it hold an Everstone. Professor Elm Trunks, good luck with your journey. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget about my research. It's a bit selfish, isn't it? Making me do all your work. Crazy old fool. You know what? I'm going to stick Togepi in a box. I'm going to go back to that town we were at. There is a problem, though. If I go to the Poke Gear and I go to the town map, I do see Suicine and Entney on the map, so I, I kind of got to try and stay away from them. Don't want to run into them yet. But anyway, I'll meet you guys at that other town. Okay, guys, we're back here on this route. I think it's Route 38. Let me check, actually. Um, yeah, we're on Route 38. I, earlier on I said Suicene and Entney, it's actually Raikou and Entney, Suicene we meet somewhere else, roaming around, let me adjust the camera a bit, so I think we beat up that guy last time, we beat him up, let's get this apricorn, um, I have with me right now, um, Sheldon, um, I also found out I'm going to change Sheldon out actually, I also put Growlithe in there, Ralph is holding an item. Fireball, I called him. Item, take. Roseberry. Okay, awesome. So let's stick out Flaffy. It's the lowest one. I'll train Sheldon and Fireball off camera. Um, another phone. I keep getting these phone calls. It's annoying. <laughs> so let's go to the top. We're going to do all of this area today. Um, okay, we beat that person what's along here a fight he's gonna block our path crazy let me try something I learned today oh yeah I also found out that I don't have to do sapphire it's just crazy because the legendary Pokemon from that the Kyrogue and Latias uh, on this game this exact game if I had done soul silver instead it would have been a bit different but lucky for me, they are on this game. So I don't have to do that. I only need it for the starters. Which is awesome. So yeah. So that's just good, good news. So I can stop playing that now. I just need it for the starters. And then I can... Once we get to Pal Park on this, we'll do that there. There's lots of other things I need to... Because I have to go to Mount Silver and beat up... Uh, red, which is fine by me. <laughs> I, I think he's going to be like level 70, so I have to do a lot of off camera training before we do that. So I might have already started Diamond by the time we get there. But we'll see. What? Yes! Yes, go Flaffy, you're evolving. I cannot wait. Now, can't, I'm really excited to finish this game now, actually. This is awesome. So we got Ampharos. Shame there's no Megas in this, right? Thunder Punch. Let's learn that. That's going to be a good move. Forget a move. Growl. Growl can definitely go. Forget Growl. And poof. Ampharos learned Growl. Forgot, forgot how to use Growl and learn Thunder Punch. Awesome. 
Okay, so let's carry on with our adventure, huh? I don't like reading these. He just wants my phone number. I don't know how many numbers you can learn on this. I thought the original one was like 10. Maybe on this game we can learn them all. So we're going to have to go down here. Let's beat up this other woman. Let's get some experience for our Amphros. Let's run from Ratata. And... Yeah. Got away safely. Awesome. Oh no, really? When I'm right next to her? This game. Magnemite. Don't need it. It's a good Pokemon though. Magneton's a beast. Very hard to deal with. Although ground moves pretty much annihilate it. Hi, aren't you a cute trainer? May I see your Pokemon? Sure, and let my Pokemon destroy you. Right. I see. Oops. Oopsie. I do apologize, I accidentally knocked the camera with my drink. <laughs> so let's fight this Hoppip and let's use, let's use Thunder Punch, let's check this out. Awesome. I don't think it was that effective, but it's okay. Skip Bloom, I will not switch Pokemon, I want to use my Ampharos for now. Uh, level, I guess I could have used Growlithe. If he uh, has a fire move. Okay, let's keep going. Critical hit, that was awesome. So I'm really excited to finish these games now. I want to do them as quick as possible for one, but I want to have as much fun as well at the same time. I love having a Pokemon behind me. I think I might have my own side project trainer tips. If a Pokemon is trying to evolve, you can stop it. Press the B button during evolution. That startles the Pokemon and stops the evolution. That's good info. So on route one, uh, route thirty nine now. Who's this dude? Bow ba, bow ba. Oh, you are hold. What you are holding is that's what they call a Pokédex. Haven't seen one of those in ages. My name is Bow ba. I used to run a safari zone in Fuchsia City. It was becoming out of date with newer entertainment options coming out. I decided to go overseas and learn a new technology and open a state of the art safari zone in Chinewood. It may be more than a coincidence that we are chatting. Why don't we register each other's phone numbers in the pocket gear? I can give you a call once the safari zone is open before I can call anyone else. Yes, let's register. That's the way. Because where the old Safari Zone is, is Pal Park, and we're going to need that later on. Awesome. Uh, what's up here for nothing, is there? Moo Moo Farm, enjoy our fresh and tasty milk. Cool. That is awesome. Oh, there's an item right there next to this building. Oh, Drain Punch. Awesome. We'll go inside the. We'll go inside this building. Hello, Moose. So what's in here? People. Two people. Our milk even goes out to Kanto. So if our own milk tank won't give us any milk, we're in trouble. My milk tank ain't giving me milk no more. If this here farm's got famous milk. Most. Everyone wants a drink. I give me lots of milk and I feel it. Lots of berries, I reckon. That was so was weird. So I guess we got a yeah sick milk tank. Moo. It's Christ week. Give an orange berry to milk tank. Yes, we gave an orange berry. Moo Moo is sick. Seen a lot of orange berries. Okay, do we have any more? Let's see how many... Ah, I became a little healthier. 
I guess we need to get more orange berries if we don't have any more. Ah, that's a shame. I guess it's a side mission we'll have to do another time or just forget about it. Let's beat up this guy. He looks like a psychic. Let me see what your Pokemon are capable of. The one thing I like about psychic Pokemon is battling them. That is, is that they're not, they're not weak or strong against generally most of the normal types we like to use like fire, water, electric. In this case it's weak against electric because it's water and psychic. And grass is the other one I mean. You know, the stuff that we all use, the starting type Pokemon. Which means they're quite, not easy to battle, but they're generally okay to battle. We're just lucky we've got a slow poke here to fight. But at the same time, if you get something like Mewtwo, which can heal itself with Recover, it can be a pain in the butt. I think we're going to have to get our Cypher up to level 100. Because it has False Swipe. And my mother is calling me. Let's check out what she says. Hello. Hi, Trunks. How are you? I found a useful item while shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry. I asked a delivery man to take it pardon me, to you so you should stop by the nearest Pokemon or department store and pick it up I know it'll be useful okay and let's go do that we'll, when we get to the next city let's fight this guy's got water Pokemon hopefully I just got back from old Olivine so how about a Pokemon battle okay well we're on our way to Olivine you're challenged by Sailor Eugene. Probably well. Awesome. So let's destroy this with my Thunder Punch. I have no idea which is stronger. The Thunder Punch or the Thunder Shock. Due to the stats. If he's more on attack or more on special attack. I guess I could check that out. But this is, seems to be doing fine. Krabby. I will not switch Pokemon. Krabby's awesome. I remember Ash's Krabby from the TV series. It was so small compared to Gary's. And cookie cookie. It's so funny. <laughs> it's not a bad Pokemon as well, doesn't it? Ha it has a move that can do a one hit kill. As long as it hits. What was it? I can't remember what that move is. It's not Vice Grip, it's something else. That's an awesome attack. Um Rattake. I'll keep I'll keep him for us out for now. Let's get a bit more training done with him. I guess I'll have to start. Level up our other Pokemon off camera now. And I need to start Soul Silver, I guess. So we can trade over Pokemon to this game. Which would be cool. So let's beat up this guy. We're going to beat them all up today. Get to the next city. We need to gain a few levels. Is it okay to brag about my Pokemon? I guess so. It looks like him and the woman below him were racing. Bucky Fan Derek. Pikachu. Okay, so we're going to have to switch now. Pikachu looks awesome. Not too skinny yet. and He's a little bit chubby. He's okay. He's cool. Let's send out... I guess we can send out Graveler. And take a sip of coffee. Mm. Pikachu's quick attack. Not very effective, good. So we will use Magnitude. Because I don't think electric affects ground, so ground should be strong against electric, so this should be good. Yeah. Destroyed it. Oh yeah. Did that one over. Oh, he's only got one Pokemon. And his little kid's a Pichu on his back, and he's wearing a Pikachu t shirt. Hey, let's be friends. Okay, let's... Come on, quickly. Give me your phone number. Do, 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 Sure, if anything comes... If anything Pokemon related comes up, I'll call. Okay. Now it's her turn. I guess she's also a Pokemon fan. Sure, darling. Pokemon. Let's show our Pokemon... Oh, sorry. Such darling Pokemon. Let's show our Pokemon together at the same time. In a battle. Let's go, let's go. What are they called? 
I can't remember what those little Pokemon are called. She also got a Pikachu, a female Pikachu this time. You can tell by the, the shape of its tail. So let's send out Graveler again. I should probably switch now that Amphrost is level 31. But it's okay. It'll probably use Quick Attack. No, Double Team. That's okay. So it's a base in this rose. So let's use Magnitude. I guess evasiveness is like um, a hidden ability. I guess magnitude is more like an earthquake attack. I don't get how it could it evade that unless it jumped up at the uh, the right moment and stayed. Oh wow! Stayed in the air long enough for the magnitude to hit. Come on! Really? That's three in a row. It's going to take a long time for him to deal any major damage anyway, so let's keep going. Oh, come on. I get that Pikachu is quicker than us. That's not a problem. We should at least hit land this one. One. All we have to do is land one. Awesome. And it's a decent one. Number seven. Magnitude seven. So you got you, That's your own fault, Pikachu, for being such a pain in the bum. Okay, we defeated Pokemon Fan Roof. I've forgotten what those those little Pokemon are called. She has three of them. Okay, let's carry on. What does this sign say? Trainers tips: Use headbutt on trees to shake Pokemon out. Then catch a Pokemon, drop out of the trees. Use headbutt on any tree you see. Uh, okay. So we're here now. Let's talk to this dude. I think you have. It's a Poke Gear, right? Wow, that's cool. Yes, it is, dude. So there's the gym. Oh, what's going on? Uh oh. Do we have to fight this fool? And we're stuck behind a building. You again. There's no need to be alert. I don't bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't here and it's supposedly taking care of a sick Pokemon at the lighthouse. Humph, boohoo. Just let sick Pokemon go. A Pokemon that can't battle is worthless. Lies! Oh, lies. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows? It may make you a bit of a better trainer. You are a fool, guy. Fool. Do you have cool hair, though? Fool. So there's no gym leader here. Looks like there's some sort of, I don't know, festival going on. Look at the little flags waving. So cool. So let's check out this house, then. While we're here, we'll check out the city and then we'll continue the story. Olivine is on the sea, and if it's on the sea, there's a there's bound to be something to catch. I fished here for 30 years. Would you like to face the sea and fish? Yes, please. Ah ha ha! We have ourselves a new angler. We got a good rod. Awesome. Water type Pokemon aren't found in the sea alone. They go wherever the, there is water. Yay! So we got a rod. I like the city. It seems like. It's just one way path. <laughs> it's easy to get around. Olivan City, the port with sea breeze. Okay. Sea Festival. Oh, we need to go on the Pokemon Mart and get whatever the, our mother sent us. So let's talk to this dude. Good day, Trunks, isn't it? I have a package for you from your mom. Here you go. Okay, Barry. We look forward to your next visit. There no further packages. Okay, sometimes they have more than one package. That's okay. Uh, I guess that's a port. Yeah, we don't need to go down there. Let's talk to this guy. You young trainer, the sea is sweet. Sing with me. The sea is blue, the sea is salty. Okay, let's go into this house. Oh, it's not a house, it's like a bar. Whenever I roll into Olivine, I always visit Olivine Cafe. Everything on the menu makes me feel stronger. I can't stop eating. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Choke. Ugh, I'm choking. Phew, that was close. I should chew before I swallow my food. Yes, that's good life advice, I guess. You, how's your Pokemon training? Coming along. Have you ever noticed that in the mountains, sometimes there are round boulders right in your way? You can move them with the hidden move strength. Hikers up. Mount Martha sometimes have extra, or so I've heard. So I guess that's where we're going to have to get strength. 
Let's talk to the barkeep. Olivine Cafe's menu is chock full of hearty fur for beefy sailors. I guess it's not good enough for skinny little kids. <laughs> so, what's this way? Oh, it's another route. We don't want to go there yet. Is there anything on the boat? That's cool, the boat is rocking. Uh, I don't think we need to go down there yet. Um, the lighthouse. Okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. Let's go in the Pokemon Center and heal our Pokemon. It seems like we can do some training in the po in the in the lighthouse. Pokemon get Pokemon get more friendly if you spend time with them. Yeah, I know. They can shine like a bright light, like a beacon at night to guide us. They can take us across the water on their backs when we are without a boat. Pokemon are helping us everywhere. I can't imagine life without them. I know it's awesome. There's a person in Chinwood City across the sea. I heard him bragging about his rare Pokemon. And who's this? The hold on. It's sure to surprise anyone. Oh, are you a trainer? You ca came just at the right time. I just finished putting my ball capsule on my Pokeball. Do you want to battle and be amazed by my decoration? No, not now. Oh, really? Talk to me if you want to see my ball capsule sometime. Let's heal. I don't think we'll, we'll battle her another time. Let's go into the lighthouse and see what's there. Hopefully, we can do it within the next five minutes. Probably run away from any Pokemon if there's Pokemon in the lighthouse. Okay. Let's carry on. Let's see what's going on at this lighthouse. There's a sick Pokemon or something, if I remember. Correctly, I think it's a sick Ampharos, actually. Let's talk to this guy quickly. Dark roads are dangerous at night, but in the pitch black night, the sea is even more treacherous. Without the beacon of the lighthouse to guide her, no ship can sail. I guess that's why we gotta fix this place. Lighthouse. In the past, Pokemon used to light the sea around Olivine at night. The lighthouse was made to pay tribute to those Pokemon. I guess we can't take the elevator. People train at this lighthouse. It's not easy to climb because of all the trainers. Can we use the elevator? We can. Okay, so we're going up to the light room. Where's that light room? Awesome. Okay. So we're at the top. Chunks found the super potion. Okay. Oh, we can't do it. I guess we'll have to do it next episode, guys. I'll do some training off camera, just a little bit. And... We will tackle a lighthouse in the next episode with... Um, maybe a few more levels on our main Pokemon Plus, Growlithe, and our Cypher, Sheldon. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to watch some more, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.